Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel eLearning Arena. I'm your host, Process Engineer Sayyid Vakas Heather. Uh, this is my second tutorial on pressure safety valve. In the first tutorial, uh, we discussed about uh, the definition of pressure safety valve and we learned that uh, uh, why it is very important to use pressure safety valves in process industry. In today's uh, short video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the process of sizing a pressure safety valve. So these are the four main steps of sizing a PSV. In the first uh, step, we determine the overpressure scenario on the basis of which we design a pressure safety valve. Uh, in the first uh, tutorial, uh, I have uh, mentioned a lot of uh, overpressure scenarios that can occur uh, in a process industry, for example, a blocked outlet. So first, uh, the first step is selection of overpressure scenario, and then on the basis of that, uh, pro uh, on the basis of that uh, overpressure scenario, we calculate the uh, relieving mass flow. And the third step is the uh, calculation of orifice size, and after the calculation of orifice size, we select the standard uh, orifice for that pressure safety valve. So let's start. So, for example, uh, we have selected an uh, overpressure scenario of blocked outlet. So, this is a vessel, uh, the incoming fluid is coming from this side, and uh, in the normal operation, the fluid, will, the fluid would uh, pass through this outlet. So, for example, uh, an, uh, in a blocked outlet scenario, the outlet of the fluid would be blocked. Uh, so the fluid would accumulate in this vessel and, uh, and as a result of this the pressure would start to increase in this vessel. So as the pressure start to increase in this vessel uh, there is a certain set pressure on which this pressure safety valve would be designed. So as the pressure, uh, as the pressure uh, reaches the set pressure of this PSV, this PSV would uh, release the exceeding or the overpressure uh, protecting this vessel. So after selecting the uh, after selecting the uh, uh, blocked outlet scenario, we now have to calculate that how much uh, mass flow rate is required uh, to size this PSV. So as in blocked outlet scenario, all the flow that is incoming, the incoming mass flow rate would be would have to be released by this PSV. So in this uh, overpressure scenario, which is blocked outlet, the incoming uh, mass flow rate would be uh, would be the design mass flow rate on which this PSV would be designed. So after selecting after selecting the overpressure scenario and determining the uh, required mass flow rate, the next step is to size the orifice. So for this purpose, the API 520 part 1 uh, is very important. So uh, all the orifice sizing equations can be found in API 520 part 1, section 3. So let's discuss these equations by one, one by one. So for example, if we have uh, the incoming fluid or the relieving fluid is gas, so we would use uh, these two equations. For critical flow, the equation 3.2 of API 521 part 1 would be used and for subcritical flow uh, 3.5 equation uh, of the API, uh, API 520 would be used. So if we have uh, to release the steam, if the, if, uh, if, the, if the fluid of our system is steam, then we will use the equation 3.8 for orifice sizing. And if uh, we, the system that uh, for which we are designing the PSV uh, is, a, is, uh, is for liquid relief. If uh, PSV has to release the liquid, then we would use the 3.9 equation for orifice sizing. So if the relieving fluid is two phase, then we have to use different type of equations. So the API 520, uh, 520 also mentions, also gives the equations for two phase, uh, two phase fluid. So for flashing and non-flashing flow, we would use equation D point seven, 
and for sub uh, cool liquid at inlet conditions we would use uh, equation d.12 all these equations as i earlier told you can be found in api 520 part 1 after after calculating the size of the orifice then we have to use the api standard 526 so for example uh, if uh, if our calculated size is uh, for example 0.09 then uh, we would select the orifice d why because 0.09 is less than 0.11 so so every size every orifice size which is less than 0.11 would be uh, requiring an orifice de designation of d so if our calculated size is increased by 0.11 we will we would go to orifice size e so this is the table of standard orifice sizes available in api 526 so after calculating the orifice size we would select according to our calculated orifice from this table the required the standard orifice so this is the very short process of selecting a psv i hope you understood it and uh, please subscribe my channel and share this video thank you very much for watching